your camera a little bit to your face. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, now that I can see your face. How would you comment on the European way of handling this crisis? You know, it was a big shock for all of us, for them also. They are not doing so badly. Okay, clearly at the beginning Italy, but then England made some big mistakes. But what more shocks me is I think that European solidarity didn't work. Although we were all talking about helping each other, it was basically everybody is on his, her own. It, it, Italians are right to complain here. So what makes me very sad is that instead of making coronavirus epidemics, the big proof, the demonstration of European solidarity, everybody is silently becoming aware that maybe this was the death blow to European unity, which is very sad. People are thinking, okay, the freedom issue and the privacy issue, the, uh, and the, uh, in an emergency like this, it, it won't matter anymore. Like, what, what is your take on that? You know why I'm not so much afraid of this? It's not that we'll now be confronting an all-powerful government which will know everything about us. No, governments are basically desperate. People expect governments, people, at least in Europe, most of us, we gladly comply with these lockdowns and so on. But we want them to work. Second thing, yeah. you notice how left is m small minority in those who protest lockdowns. Mostly it's the populist right in Germany, Alternative für Deutschland, in United States, local Trump right-wing partisans and so on. They are against lockdowns. But now in United Kingdom, we have this paradoxical right. situation. The government wants to stop lockdown faster. Open schools, restaurants and so on. And many local communities protest. They don't want freedom of movement and so on, open restaurants to be restored too quickly. I think that with all the uncertainties, nonetheless, China has proven it, other places have proven it, lockdowns at least up to a point they work. The point yeah. is how to do it, it should be done in a disciplined way but with full collaboration of the people. How are you personally holding up to this? How are you doing during this very whole bad, quarantine? Very bad, uh -huh. very bad because I have some other uh, health problems and so on, with the gastritis right. and so on, stomach. For us in Europe, at least, people say you, we should learn to mourn, to accept the death of friends and so on, or thousands of people that we don't know. But I think what we should really mourn is the death of an entire way of life. Everybody knows that even if we succeed bringing things somehow under control, the old times will never be back. First, we will have to, everybody, China is probably getting ready. In France, Macron said yesterday or the day before that our whole health system should be restructured and so on. It's not just this will pass and we return back to normal. We are entering a new era where health threats with multiply. People already fear, even if the second wave in the fall is less strong one. But if you combine it with the usual winter wave of flu, you get the problem. Second thing, now it's spring harvest for vegetables, for fruit. And many European countries rely on foreign workers from African countries. And now the harvest is rotting on the fields. And I think I support the idea that somebody in British government proposed that simply those who are temporarily unemployed, they should be mobilized to do this. I think these are extraordinary circumstances and the priorities should be not market, start car production again and so on. Priority should be, and this is why I use the word communism, crucial things has to be taken care of. And we cannot leave this to market mechanisms. We should use market to secure competitivity and so on and so on. But we cannot wait for the market to spontaneously decide. For example, healthcare.
It's a trivial question, but interesting. What will happen with our entire fiction industry, movies and so on? How will yeah. they be shooting movies? Maybe they will invent something in China because wasn't the last Chinese big science fiction feeling the wandering earth? Also in a totally isolated, the whole earth moving away from the sun and so on. I wonder if life will not return to normal, if some social distance think will remain. How will we look on our past life? Will it become a lost ideal? Will we be dreaming about it? You know, this is, again, the saddest personal moment for me.